Okay, welcome to Intro to AP Computer Science for New AP Teachers. This lesson is about strings. So we're gonna talk about what is a string? Again, I'm sure you know, but just kinda of how do you describe it to students? Uh, talk about concatenation and some of the things you need to watch out for there. Um, the string methods, there's, you know, of course there's lots and lots of string methods, but the AP only really requires that you know, I think about five of them. So it's kind of a, a nice, really nice subset of, of the actual string methods. And I'll talk about like an introductory exercise or two you can try with your students. So what is a string? Um, so for the students, this is where we emphasize that this is our first non-primitive type. And part of the way that we know that is that string is capitalized. For all of our primitive types, you know, int, uh, double, uh, boolean, they are all lowercase. And that is an, that's an important distinction. That gives them a little bit of information about that particular object. Um, so they, you know, just let them know it's a data type that holds textual data. And so that'd be like, a, you know, first name, last name, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and then the data, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but the data is in order. There's a difference between A, B, and C, and there's a difference between that and C, B, and A. Even though they have the same letters, they would be different because there's a different order. But it, it bears repeating just because it has implications later in the array units. And this is really where I start to uh, introduce the idea of a collection. So uh, a string is our first like kind of collection that we're looking at. This, this is such an important concept when we get into iteration and then later when you get into arrays and array lists and 2D arrays, just having to iterate through a, a set of objects, through a collection of objects, you know, perform some sort of test. This is a big, big thing on that AP exam. So I really in, I introduce it here. And then when I bring it up later, I always refer back to, well, just like we did with strings, we can do this with our arrays. We can do this with our array lists. And it just kind of builds that concept up throughout the course. Um, concatenation is just a fancy way to say combining strings. And to do that, we use the plus operator. And one thing, again, with beginners is they might not know the difference between, say, first plus last. And you always print that out and show that there's no, there's no space. And sometimes kids are like, well, where's the space? I'm like, well, you didn't put it in there. Um, and then, so that needs to be explicitly added. So first plus quote space quote plus last. Um, I shouldn't have put quotes in last there. And I'm not going to go back and fix it. Trust me. Uh, note that uh, it was really important to note that quote two quote plus quote two quote is 22. It is not four. Uh, so I, I do go through and I walk the students through that. I say, look, there is a difference between the data. This is where data types matter. And you might also want to show them, you know, what's two plus 2.0 to show them what happens. Does it, does it come out as an int? Does it come out as a, as a double? It's kind of an interesting, you know, thing to see where their minds are if you ask them. Uh, and then escape characters. These are the slash characters. So N is next line, uh, T is tab. If they want to actually print uh, a backslash, uh, they need to do slash slash. If they want to print inside double quotes, they need to do slash quote. And then depending on how your computers are set up, um, slash A will actually play a little bit of a beep or like a, the terminal sound, depending on what kind of computer you're using. And that gets kind of, it starts to get, you know, they like to make sounds, <laughs> basically. So, uh, string methods. Um, strings are objects, so they have methods. So this is one thing that kind of sets the primitives apart from objects. Now later, talk about, you know, the integer classes and the auto box, you know, all that sort of thing. And that is part of the AP. But for now, just say, look, well, it's an object. So just like human beings, you know, you can sleep in class, but you shouldn't. You can talk to your friend, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there are things that strings can do. So again, subset here is length, substring, index of, equals, and compare to. So, so some of the things I like to really be careful about emphasizing is that substring is used to take one part of the whole at a time. So this is what I use for iterating through a collection uh, of strings or of a string. So we can look at each letter individually. So for example, is it a vowel? Uh, is it a number? So we can start categorizing and determining membership with using index of as, as the next one. So when I say determine membership, so I might do like a list of vowels. So vowels equals A-E-I-O-U, capital A-E-I-O-U. And then using index of, we can determine is a letter a vowel. So if it's in there, you know, so the index is greater than negative one, it is a vowel. If it's less than if it's less than negative one or equal to negative one, I should say less than zero. It is a uh, not a vowel. So, 
And then also this is an important place to bring up that the dot equals method is different to equals equals with objects. So the way that objects are compared is very different to the way that uh, primitives are compared. And again, my ebook talks about this in, in much more detail. Uh, so quick introductory exercise or two here. So basically, just like we did before with primitives, choose a real world object and write some strings to describe it. And also primitives to review. So for example, uh, you know, like if you're doing a, a mobile phone, it might be, you know, case color. So string case color equals, in my case, it is uh, green. So what, you know, how can we describe objects using strings? Not just numbers, now, but now we can actually use a descriptive term. And then also another way is we could write the names of the seniors in one string. So, you know, you know, I know uh, Bob, you know, Bob space Sue space Jason uh, inside of a string called seniors and then use index of to determine membership. So is, so is Bob a senior? Yes, because the index is greater than negative one. Um, and we might say is, uh, you know, Nico a senior? And you say no, because the index of that is negative one. So we're just getting the students used to that idea of sets of collections, getting students used to the idea of testing. So we have a condition, we wanna know how, does, how do these things relate? And I find this skill is really, really useful, especially later, like I said, uh, in answering the, the free response questions on the AP exam. So yeah, so we covered uh, what is a string, uh, concatenation, string methods, the five that are focused on in the AP, and just some things to watch out for when you're teaching this, and because that'll come in handy later. Um, I didn't know this my first year, so it took me a while to come up with this to see how it all kind of fit together. And then there was a nice little, hopefully, a nice little introductory exercise or two to help you get started. So thanks for watching. See you next time.